Hi everyone, I would like to do the research presentation of Emerging Technology for EEE 236 Spring 2023 class. My presentation topic is called Next Generation Nano Sheet GAA Transistor. My presentation starts off with the transistor development timeline and evolution. After that, continue with planner and FinFET geometry evolution and improvement. And then we'll carry on with the main topic, nano sheet gate all around transistor. But before the conclusion, I will go through a sneak peek into future transistor and potential roadmap. Let's start with transistor history. Transistor are the basic building block of the electronic industry and foundation of computer memories, microprocessor, and other integrated circuits. Transistor are semiconductor component that can use for amplifying or switching electrical signals. The number of transistor on chips is double every year as per Gordon Moore's prediction. And to keep up with Moore's law, transistor technology has been kept evolving over the past few decades. In this transistor development timeline, showing the first transistor that is successfully demonstrated at the end of 1947 up to currently and the developing complementary FET CFET. As you can see here, many generations of transistor invention had been done over the past 75 years while abiding the Mohs law. Let's see the very first point contact transistor. It is a single junction transistor with two metal contacts, emitter and collector. These two contacts make contact with a small slab of N-type germanium with a very thin P-type surface layer. The reverse side of the germanium is attached to the base. Very small positive current changes on emitter cause a greater change in the current flow between the collector and the base. And that's how it works as an amplifier. Now let's talk about one of the most used bipolar junction transistor. PJT is a current control device and it is built with two semiconductor junction. PJT allow a small current injected at base to control a much larger current flowing between collector to emitter and making the device capable of amplification or switching. PJTs are the most commonly used in low current application up to date. Before we dive into geometry design, let's see the working principle of voltage control metal oxide field effect transistor MOSFET. The main principle of MOSFET device is to be able to control the voltage and current flow of a channel between the source and drain terminals. The width of this channel is controlled by the electric field established by the gate voltage. Over the past few decades, transistor has been geometrically designed to meet electrical challenges while further reduction of size with scaling. What is the scaling? In scaling theory, the key factor is to keep the electric field constant and reduce all dimension of device and voltages by the scaling factor S. The aim of scaling is to increase the speed and performance at the same time to reduce power consumption and footprint. Let's start with the very first planner FED design in the next slide. Planner transistor worked well up to 22 nanometer, but it was impossible to smaller the size further. Further downsizing lead to drain and source closer and reduce the gate control over the channel carriers. Starting to encounter short channel effect like drain induced barrier lowering dibble, lower threshold voltage increases off state leakages, gate being scaled down increases quantum tunneling leakage. All these factors lower the transistor performance. At that point, FinFET comes into a picture to be able to continue with Moore's laws. 
fin fed a three dimensional transistor. Drain and source are raised above and form as a vertical fin. And the gate is wrapped around the drain and source on three sides. Increasing the gate surface area achieve better performance than the planner design. With this upgraded design, possible to reduce the footprint with better control over the flow of the current in the channel and also achieve better device performance with lower leakages. With FinFET, as we learned from the previous slide, higher scalability for the given footprint area than planner is the chief. FinFET technology evolved from 22 nanometer to 5 nanometer nodes. But once we reach to the 5 nanometer generation, FinFET encounters several short channel effects and poor control over leakage currents. And again, with this design, it is impossible to further downsize. The main reason is due to the fact that it has reached the height limitation of fin and the number of fins that can be placed side by side. To overcome with the fin fat limitation, scientists introduced the newer geometric nano sheet design. Instead of fins, horizontal sheets are vertically stacked on top of one another to form a channel, and the gate is enclosed the entire channel and make contact with all four sides of channel. Let's see what advantages are achieved by the new nano sheet design. By vertical stack of horizontal sheets over the same footprints, eliminate the need for more area. Since the channel is lifted above, this design gives another advantage that do not have in any of the past design. That is the flexibility to vary the channel width as per the transistor usage requirements. That means white nano sheet design for higher and better drive currents and narrow nano sheet design for optimized power consumptions. Since the gate is in contact with the channel on all four sides, Continuous scaling is possible with lower leakage current. In conclusion, further downsizing of transistor with better performance and channel width flexibility is achieved. Another advantage of nano sheet design is the silicon orientation. With horizontal sheet, best performance silicon orientation 100 is attained. That's why 3 nanometer nano sheet transistor is 50% more power efficient and 30% performance improvements than current 5 nanometer process available in the market. And if you see from the point of production, it used the same process tools and manufacturing methods at SpinFed, so for the manufacturer, they can easily transit and quickly implement the new technology without spending overhead costs. Okay, now let's see the four main steps of nanosheet fabrication. First step, multi-layer of silicon and silicon germanium are epitaxially grown on top of silicon substrate to define the channel. Silicon germanium layer is called the sacrificial layer as it will be removed from the stacking during the channel release. In the second step, nanosheet are separated by selectively aging away the silicon germanium part of the multi-layer. The next step is the inner spacer integration step. Inner spacer are made of dielectric material to isolate the gate from the source and tray. For the final step, a warp metal is deposited and pattern around and in between the nanosheet layers to build a metal gate. During this four step, atomic layer deposition is used for the dielectric material integration and metal gate integration steps. Atomic layer deposition is the special variant of the chemical vapor deposition technique where gaseous reactants are introduced into the reaction chamber to form the desired material through chemical surface reaction.
Before we go into the roadmap, let's do the sneak peek of other future transistor design. The first one I would like to talk is the Fox Sheet or Nanocomb transistor design, and they are the improved version of Nano Sheet transistor. NFET and PFET are integrated in the same structure, but there is a dielectric wall to separate between them. This will tighten the space between NFET to PFET and reduce area scaling further. As of now, they are the tentative design for 2 nanometer process. Let's see another further future transistor design called complementary FET CFET. And in this design, both NFET and PFET wires are stacked on one another. This folding of the NFET and PFET will eliminate the N2P separation bottleneck of nano sheet and Fox sheet design. And this can further reduce 50% of the cell additive area footprint. Let's continue with potential roadmap. In this slide, it's showing 20 year evolution roadmap of semiconductor technology laid out by IMAX CEO during IMAX Technology Forum in San Francisco. And this roadmap is planning to go beyond the nano scale with nano sheet and Fox sheet. After all the study of FinFET and GAA FET technology, it can be concluded that gate all around transistor are the future of integrated circuits. Design flexibility and excellent performance within a smaller footprint area will continue to be advantages and make them a very promising next generation of transistor. Thank you, everyone.